Hello, Glenwood Middle School students. I'm here to talk to you today about a small change to your RAMS time. Don't worry, you still have the opportunity to reteach and reassess on your outcome assessments. And teachers are still offering fun and enriching activities. The change is how you are going to see what is available, how you choose your activities for RAMS time, and how you take attendance once you are at your activity. We've seen plenty of motivated students rushing through the halls, trying to get to RAMS time before the activity is full. The change we are implementing will help us to add the respectful and accountable pillars back into the RAMS time, so we can be successful. So what is this change? We are replacing the Google Sheet for RAMS time activities and the Google Form for attendance with a new app. It's called Flexi Stedge. You will be able to see what activities are offered and schedule yourself for the activity. No more running down the halls to try to get from one end of the building to the other before the activity fills up. You will have a reserved place in the activity once you add it to your RAMS time schedule. Before I show you how Flexi Sketch works, you need to know a few things. First, you can only schedule yourself during the scheduling window and that is from 7.30 to 2 o'clock p.m. each day. You can choose to schedule yourself for the day or for the whole week, but you must do it between 7.30 and 2 o'clock. Second, if you do not schedule yourself by 2 o'clock, you will automatically be scheduled for quiet study hall in the media center. But don't worry, if you were not able to schedule yourself because you were on that awesome art field trip or some other event where you left the school, your teachers can schedule you for something if you ask them respectfully. And third, speaking of teachers, they can schedule you in for reteach and reassess, behavior issues or other reasons. And you cannot change any scheduled activity where the teacher has requested you. You may also get scheduled for group or club activities by teachers or sponsors. For example, Builders Club, Student Sunshine Committee or TAG Robotics. So, let's take a look at Flexi Stedge. I've asked Stu Dent to help us out. Hi, Stu. To get to Flexi Stedge, Stu first has to log into Classlink, which we call Rams United. Once you are logged into Rams United, you will see two icons for Flexi Stedge. You need to make sure to click on the icon with the MS on it. If you click on the wrong icon, you will not be able to log in to the Flexi Stedge app. When Stu clicks the middle school flexi Sketch icon, he opens his dashboard. At the top of the dashboard, Stu can see his schedule for the week. He can see that he has been scheduled for Mathia Monday in Mr. Johnson's room. The red check mark means that this is a teacher request and Stu cannot change this option. He can also see that he was scheduled as part of a group request. Stu currently has three open days this week for Ram's time. He can choose activities for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. There is no school on Friday this week. Below Stu's current schedule, he can see all the offerings for the week. By default, it only displays 10 entries at a time. To see more offerings, click the display entries number at the top left of the table to change the number of options that are displayed on each page. Stu is part of Mrs Buckingham's class meeting and he remembered that his class meeting group is going to decorate Mrs. Buckingham's door during Ram's time on Tuesday. He can see Mrs. Buckingham's name at the top of the table, so he can click on the activity for Tuesday and a message will pop up and verify that he is trying to schedule this activity. If there are available seats in the activity and there are no other restrictions on the activity, he will get a confirmation message letting him know that he was placed into this activity. His page will reload and he will see his Tuesday choice displayed in his schedule at the top of the page. If Stu knows that someone is offering Silent Ball on Wednesday, he can begin entering this in the box at the top of the Wednesday column in the table. He can then click on the activity and schedule himself just like he did for Tuesday's activity. To clear the search filter, remove the text in the box. Stu doesn't know what he wants to do for Thursday, so he just scrolls down through the activity descriptions until he sees that Mr. Killian is offering chess as an activity. He has always wanted to learn the game, 
so he signs up for that activity. Now Stu's schedule is full for the week. He can make any changes to his schedule up to two o'clock on the day of the activity, and his teachers can make changes and pull him into reteach and reassess at any time. To edit his schedule, Stu clicks on the pencil icon on the right side of his schedule. He can then pick the activity offering that he wants to change, and he can pick from other available options. If Stu doesn't see an option that he saw in the main list, it means that the offering has no available seats or there is some other restriction on the activity. Remember to click the Save button when you are done making changes. If you don't click Save, your new choices will not be saved. There is also an email icon on the right side of the table. Stu can email himself a copy of his current schedule at any time. When Stu arrives at his RAMS time activity, there are two options for attendance. His RAMS time teacher might take attendance from a roster, or Stu may have to enter his attendance similar to what he has been doing. If the teacher has enabled the student check-in option, Stu can scroll down to the bottom of his dashboard and click the green check-in box at the right side of the screen. He enters the code provided by the teacher and then clicks the OK button. The check-in box changes to grey and he will not be able to use it again that day. Stu can also see any historical attendance information in the attendance section of his dashboard. It will show where he went in the past and whether he was present, absent or tardy. Stu can also see a listing of the groups he is in by looking at the groups section of the dashboard. Well, that's about it for the little demonstration of Flexi Stedge. Thanks, Stu, for the help. You are really doing it the Rams way.